Hey guys, in this video I'm going to take you through the 6 steps of animation while showing and talking about each step in detail. For this tutorial I actually animated a shot from scratch just for you and here's the breakdown of how I did it. Now I have to say that these are the general steps an animator usually go through when working on a shot. Every animator has their own way of working but for a beginner it's definitely a fail proof system. Step 1. Shooting a reference video. This is a very important and overlooked step. The thing is that people really think that they know how certain actions look like and how long they're going to take, but they are often wrong. Physical actions is something you need to analyze before starting to animate, especially if you're a beginner. If you have a shot of a guy throwing a baseball, you better YouTube some reference video of pitchers throwing balls. Don't assume you know what it looks like just because you've seen it before or did it yourself. Observing an action as an animator is completely different than doing it on your day to day. So for this tutorial I decided to go with the guy winking at someone and pointing at them in kind of a silly way. So the first thing I did was shoot a reference video. Now that you have the reference it's time to create your key poses of the shot. These poses are called key poses because they are the most important poses of the shot. These are the poses that if someone saw just them alone they would know exactly what's going on in the shot. In this case I only had three of them. The initial pose, the extreme pose of the finger in the air and the pointing pose. You better make sure you get those poses right. The next step is blocking. Once we're happy with our poses, we start breaking down the movement from each pose to the next by adding in-betweens or breakdown poses or passing poses. There are many names for it. We keep doing that until the movement looks as good as it could be while still staying in the step mode. Step mode is when you don't allow computer interpolation between poses, so that's why the animation looks kind of choppy and blocky. Step 4 is splining. Splining is a 3D animation term. It's the process in which you convert the interpolation from step to spline. In other words, you make the computer connect the movement between each of your poses and it makes the movement look smoother. The problem is that the computer doesn't do a very good job at interpolating it. That's why the better the blocking is, the better the spline version is gonna look. This is how our shot looks right after pressing the spline button. It looks smooth, but it's not, it's not really good yet. That's why we have our next step, smoothing and offset. Now that all our keys are on spline mode, we have some work to do. We need to clean up all the curves and make sure the movement looks smooth. It's also a good idea to offset some of the actions, otherwise it looks very stop and start, as if he's doing all the motion at once. In this case, I moved the arm motion by a frame or two forward, so it snaps a little after his body does. I did the same for the head and even the shoulders a little bit. I've also added some overlap to his body, so when he snaps his hand, it jiggles a little bit instead of just stopping. And you can see that the whole body is rocking back and forth a little bit. It makes it seem more believable. By the end of this step, your shot should look pretty solid or even kind of finished. And then we have our last step, adding life. This step is the most fun because you're already done with the grunt work of animation and it's time to just add the fun stuff, the cool stuff. In this step I just usually add small imperfections that add life to the character, maybe an extra blink or a mouth twitch. I added a lot of mouth movement which technically you should do in the uh, blocking step but I just thought about it near the end so I went for it. I also added some eyebrow movement here and there. The difference between the last two steps is small but very noticeable. Well, that's it for the six steps of animation. For more detailed tutorials and articles, check out our website, bloopanimation.com. And of course, don't forget to subscribe.